Well, everybody, welcome back here. Josh with Josh's Lawn and Landscape. Coming to you with another uh, equipment review. Just something that uh, I've been meaning to do for a little while, so I thought I'd throw it in there. Being the downtime of the season, I got a little more time to do some of these little odds and ends equipment review videos that I've been wanting to do. So uh, I've done reviewed my mowers and some other stuff. So uh, today I'm going to be doing a review on the John Deere Power Flow Bagger. So let's get started with that. So this, as you can see, it's the X590. You've seen the reviews on it. And this is the Power Flow Bagger Assembly. This is the seven bushel, which is two bags. Uh, as you can see, just simply flips up there. Um, they make a, I think it's a 14, 11, 12 or 14 bushel, something of that nature, which is a larger three bag setup. Uh, the bags simply pop out there's a little slot ear on the side that drops down in the groove both of them do the same they're molded to fit the lid simply plops down latches you have your tube blow tube with the air gauge in it and your blower assembly um, this mower is a 54 inch deck and according to John Deere the way their baggers work and they're with the deck is anything above a 48 I believe it is requires a blower assembly so this is simply uh, the blower which you can see a mountain bracket hinges bolts right onto the deck molds up to your chute opening discharge chute and it has this is a belt drive so you can see, let's see if I can reach around here. Um, this cover here covers the pulleys. You can see there's a double stack pulley. Just simply replaces the pulley that's on the, the original pulley on the deck. And you've got the drive belt for the deck. And then the top pulley runs back over and to the blower assembly so that's that's simple enough you can take the belt off um simply using this lever here this is your belt tension lever so if you push this back and drop it down it actually releases the tension on the belt so you can take it off unhook the tube slides back up into the the bag assembly spin the blower out it actually has one other mounting peg that goes right into this bracket right here you can't see it but it bolts right in there i don't think you can see it from up top we'll see ah there it is right there goes into the side of this bracket to hold up the back of the blower assembly and that just simply slides out it's not latched in there or anything like that Bends the blower assembly around and you simply lift it up out of the bracket on the front so again this is the seven bushel bagger assembly um, it's a pretty simple setup as far as the mounting and the dismounting of the blower it has three pins you have center pin here which goes in the hitch placement with a cotter pin in the bottom and then you have one pin right here just a short pin on either side and it has a pin and then you have a flat washer that goes right behind the cotter pin to eliminate the play in the pin and there's one on both sides and then the bracket mounts down here you can see where it rests on these studs that you install these are permanent once you put it in as far as you don't have to take them off to remove the bagger so you simply rest it down on that line up your two holes up top put your pins in and then line up your center hole put that pin in and everything comes out uh 
pretty simple. Like I say, just pull the pins, lift it off, take the bagger loose, and then remove the blower. And you can go back to side discharge. And again, it's pretty simple. Uh, and your bags, just drop them in on the ridge. Again, drop the little ear. And there's the one on the other bag. And the other side. And again, this comes in a seven bushel, which is what this one is. And I believe the other one is a 14 bushel. So the bags, I think, are bigger. And there's one extra bag on that assembly so and what i've come to find also with this is once these bags are full that give or take a little bit if they're full to the top maybe a little more is these two bags will fill up a 45 42 to 45 gallon leaf bag or construction contractor type heavy duty trash bag so you can take these out and dump them in the bags and i think i mentioned it maybe but both bags have a strap handle on the bottom so you can flip them over into the bag pick the bottom up and just kind of roll it over and let it dump and just kind of shake it down into the bag so run this on about around somewhere around two and a quarter or so um and it does a good job the few drawbacks with it um which again you're normally bagging leaves is it's not great but it is good i guess you could say it's but it's not great if you have a lot of pine straw in the yard and if you are trying to say minimize your material and you're pre-cutting the leaves a little bit and then maybe trying to go back over them and bag them up after you've mulched them up a little bit. Um, it does tend to uh, struggle a little bit with with that. Um, but not too bad. Just it's one minor little thing. Um, so again, one drawback to this, which I don't bag a lot of leaves, which is why I do not have the larger setup, is these do fill up fairly quickly if you have a heavy dose of leaves now if you're getting uh early or or late season leaves up for somebody that doesn't have a ton of trees in their yard um just to get that smooth clean look it does a fantastic job i mean it, it will it will clean the yard up fairly well uh, again if you have a lot of pine straw you tend to have to take your time a little bit more with that but um other than that, um, avoid areas also. One more thing, if you have a lot of, I guess you would call patchy turf that has a lot of sand or dirt um, in it, it tends to uh, struggle a little bit in those areas. Um, and these bags will be ridiculously heavy um, if, if you're in that case. So if you can try to blow your leaves and stuff into areas that are much more turf than say patchy areas like like this or like that over there and blow them into more areas like this where you have a lot more of your turf instead of sand and things like that because it will suck up the sand and it tends to make these bags ridiculously heavy so I've used this bagger on about four or five yards. I've only had it since the first of the year. Um, so, and I don't bag a lot unless it's requested, but uh, it's done a good job. Um, and I would, like I say, I would recommend this to anybody that, that wants to do some smaller leaf cleanups. Um, if you want to do larger leaf cleanups, I would obviously go with the 14 bushel bag system. And, um, again, that is my overview or review discussion of the 7 bushel John Deere Power Flow Bagger Assembly for the X-Series Lawn Tractor. And, again, the blower assembly, according to John Deere, once again, is required, I believe, for any deck size over 48. So, up to a 48, I believe they just have a 
an assembly that that mounts to the chute but once you go above that they require um, the blower assembly to move the material up to the bagger and again it's it's pretty easy assembly as far as the pins the belt set up um, all the brackets everything comes with it this was a $1,100 upgrade blower and bagger assembly um, which about half of that is the blower um, the blower was a little over half of that uh, just just barely but so basically um, most of your uh, cost is right here in this in this blower assembly and again about a thousand let's say eleven hundred dollar upgrade for this machine and uh, does a good job so I'm gonna quit rambling and let me know what y'all think uh, just try to do a review on it so I know I kind of strung it out a little bit on the end but hey that's how it goes so again thank y'all for subscribing those of you who have if you haven't yet hit the like button hit the subscribe button share this video if you like it uh, leave me a comment below try to respond when I can as quickly as I can and thank you for everybody who has subscribed thank you for everybody who's simply taking the time out to watch and y'all be safe out there be kind and we'll catch you on the next one thanks everybody